Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the last couple of videos we talked about uh, AWS setup because we are talking about microservices and their deployment and we decided to do things with the AWS CDK. So these are the things which uh, we are talking. Set up AWS account and third is we already discussed about create admin user and set up AWS profile so he can do he can run the AWS commands from the command line like uh, AWS configure is the command which you can you can use to configure the AWS uh, credentials then you can access the AWS resources because AWS configure will take your AWS access key and the secret key and once you enter them once you are authorized you can actually read the resources create the resources using AWS CLI so you need to have a AWS CLI installed on command line. I mean, if you are using Mac or Ubuntu, then that's uh, pretty much simple. And then here, because here now we are going to use CDK, AWS CDK. So we have to install this as a package, AWS CDK, as a globally, so that uh, it's like, this is how you will do it. I will just come to that point. How you are going to do that it involves the multiple steps so what we are doing here is simple create a AWS account create an admin user so here we will set up AWS programmatic access through the CLI then we will install AWS CLI and bootstrap our account So you can just simply see what we are doing. Uh, I mean, AWS CDK can be done in all different languages. What we will do is we will configure the AWS profile. And how we do it? Simple is AWS, uh, AWS CLI should be installed on your Mac or you want to, and then you can just do AWS configure. Simple command. And it will ask you if you are doing SSO, then uh, you need to pass your SSO URL and all. Otherwise, you can just simply set up your access key ID and secret key and then you install it using npm module because we are talking about javascript you need to install aws cdk cli using as a global module npm install minus z and you can just start doing all these things so this is what aws configure will do aws configure will ask you the access key id and a secret key and you will enter accordingly right then npm install minus z there is a cdk cli we are installing aws cdk but i already have this uh, version i can just check now how to check the cdk version i mean cdk command you should be able to run globally you can see cdk minus minus version right and it actually checks your node version so if you have nvm use v20.0.0 why have it 18.0.0 i should have it now using that i can just install it globally on the 18 version and then i can just check the version cdk version and here now it is not complaining right because node 16 ha has reached end of life and now we need to move it to 18 and 20 20.0 20 to use cdk i mean they are just using the stable version now the ba basic commands which you need to use is a cdk bootstrap and you should be able to use these commands only when your aws profile is configured because it is going to run these commands against your aws account so I mean CDK these are the different different basic commands what are the commands I will talk about CDK init that will create a basic project structure for you then CDK bootstrap then CDK deploy and stack name and CDK destroy these are some of the basic commands now we will try to understand how it works CDK I'll just uh, create a folder. And we can simply do is CDK init. 
I can choose a template CDK init app language equal to TypeScript so it will give me the template configured for our code and that we can just see in uh, our VS code that what this code it is generating it is just a TypeScript a JavaScript code which will going to create infrastructure for you and these are simple CDK commands CDK dev, CDK sin, CDK deploy right these are the basic commands and here you can see the code structure it's nothing but a TypeScript project right and you can just see the infra I'll just try to open it in the code I'll just open this in the VS code so we can see a bit more so here you can see the basic TypeScript project here and here is your stack right this stack is going to I mean now you can inside this stack so we already talked about AWS CDK it has a stack it has a construct right and uh, to deploy this you also need to configure okay on which account what is your default region all these you can configure in the environment and inside this stack you can create the constructs either it can be SQS, SNS, Lambda, API Gateway, DynamoDB whatever but this is the default setup this is stack this is your inside this stack you can have a construct and these are the basic commands which you can run now to deploy this what commands you will just use if I talk about simple thing is CDK synth right I can just use NVM use and I can just do CDK synth it actually synthesize like okay what all constructs and what all stack you need you want me to create and it has created this cloud permission template right it will be created in the CDK out folder and here this is the cloud permission template structure has been created you can see this I mean if you have seen the cloud permission template then this is how it looks like and this is the manifest like what all resources we are looking for and then npx I mean you can also use npx command or cdk deploy you need to specify the stack name for it cdk deploy so in the package JSON we have the cdk deploy command and what the cdk deploy command is looking for cdk deploy command will look for cdk there is a file created for it cdk json so cdk json is uh, is a conf is a existing file what it talks about okay this is your application okay and all these files are there and this is the context so when you do cdk deploy why it is currently complaining because we don't have we don't have AWS account configured what it is doing is deployment field time stack the security token included request is invalid because we haven't provided a security token for this account we haven't configured AWS uh, credentials which is AWS access key and a secret key that's why we cannot deploy this simple application what we need to do is we need to do AWS configure I have multiple AWS account so I need to configure it properly and then I can just do CDK deploy and then you can just do CDK destroy also I mean if your CDK resource has been created then it will you should be able to destroy that stack <coughs> currently we don't have this stack created so what are the basic commands uh, let's go back to our code cdk bootstrap before even doing everything you need to do cdk bootstrap also because what happens how the cdk really works let's try to understand it this is your code this is your aws credentials i mean aws account this is your cloud permission template and this is how you push the code So this is your AWS account. This is the CDK code, let's say. 
Now when you deploy it, what happens is it creates a cloud formation template. And then it actually pushes that cloud formation template to AWS account. So bootstrap is nothing but it's actually creating a deployment infrastructure for these cloud formation template. It creates S3 bucket, which keeps track of the resources which are being created, deleted, updated and all the versions. So initially you created one S3 bucket using stack. Then you might be adding a new bucket to so this CloudFormation S3 bucket is keeping track. Okay, this resource already exists. We are just going to create a new resource. All those things are, is being managed and all those things has been uh, is happened through the bootstrap process. When you do the bootstrap, it, it actually takes care of, okay, all the infrastructure stuff which needs to be bootstrapped so that the deployment can happen. So CDK in it, it, it is just creating uh, the basic code structure for you, right? Now you will create a stack and the construct. CDK Bootstrap will prepare infrastructure for you using cloud formation template, S3 bucket and all those things. And then CDK deploy. Once you have a code, you will just do CDK synth first, which will synthesize the template and will give you any errors if you have. Otherwise CDK deploy will just take this template and will take it to the AWS. And then CDK destroy will destroy all the resources has been created on AWS through this stack and the constructs. Okay. So this is the, the whole uh, mystery of all these things. CDK, this is the cloud formation template, which we are creating. This is your AWS account. And this is your AWS credentials, which you need to have AWS access key and the secret key. Without this, we cannot do anything. Okay, because when you do CDK deploy, you will get an error. So this is the basic setup. And what I was talking about is, this is how you bootstrap CDK bootstrap and you need to specify the account which you need to bootstrap. Like let's say if I do CDK bootstrap, it will give an error because I haven't specified anything. AWS account number and the reason. Okay, you can also get your identity, CDK tools and all. So first I will set up my, I will configure my account based on the admin access I have. And then we will start basic, these basic commands. So here I'm creating access key and the secret key for one of my admin user through the admin account. Sandbox. And then I can copy this and down done access key and the secret key. So now first to get your account ID, which is here, copy this thing. I think it's copied. This is your account number. And the reason, reason is I think we are US East one, where we are deploying our resources. So I already have configured my profile. I can just run this command CDK bootstrap and let's see CDK bootstrap this account so what is this creating this is creating a cloud permission chain set okay so what actually you are doing with the CDK bootstrap you are actually creating a platform so that uh, your cloud permission template can be pushed to AWS and when you do this uh, I can try to run that command again what it is doing this is your account ID this is your reason it is actually bootstrapping the environment so this is the first thing which you should do before deploying any application to AWS and you can see environment is already bootstrapped no changes and once it is bootstrapped you will see the change here is this default stack has been created CDK toolkit CDK toolkit is the stack which is going to deploy any other resources. It's like a, it's like a bootstrap of everything. So this is something which is a prerequisite. It has, it has actually created a bucket policies and all. This is creating a platform so that your all the other tech which you are going to deploy through the AWS CDK can be pushed to AWS. So this is the bootstrap stack which will always be there. Okay, 
now I can just do is CDK deploy. What it will do? I already have CDK in it. I bootstrap my environment. I am just doing a CDK deploy, which should be able to create the stack. I mean, you should be able to push the cloud formation template to AWS. You can see it is creating this temp stack. So the reason it is creating this cloud formation chain set. It is like the first time we are deploying this. And here you can see the progress happening. Do we have any stacks being created? You can see here, this temp stack creation is in progress. And what are the resources it is creating? We haven't specified any resources or any construct. So it is just only the stack which is getting deployed. So I think create is complete. We can see this temp stack doesn't have any resources. We can add some resources. And this is what the deployment is complete. CDK synth command is so I N T H synthesize to check okay your cloud formation stack is complete I it and it generates this uh, cloud formation template and then you can do cdk destroy because here we are just playing with things cdk destroy will remove this stack you need to make sure that you wanted to delete this particular stack if yes just get rid of it and here the deletion will start so all these things, if you see what all these things are happening, all these things are happening through the cloud formation. I mean, I think we need to delete this manually. It's already destroyed. Delete file. This is the old one. I mean, that has already been deleted successfully. I will try to delete this manually. This is not the current one, this is the old one, which I'm deleting. So deletion is successful. Now, if you come to the code, in code what we are doing, currently it has one stack, right? And it has, it is using this particular, I mean, this is like a one stack which doesn't have any constructs, but we can also put some constructs. Let's say I wanted to create a SQS queue. And for the SQS, I need to get the import. My infrastructure is telling me that you need a SQS queue or you need a Lambda, you need API Gateway, DynamoDB, all these things we will put inside the stack. And these will be considered as a construct. This is actually a construct. Okay. Now, if I try to deploy this, CDK Synth you can do. CDK Synth will just create a cloud formation template. And this cloud formation template also tells you that it needs a SQS queue. And then cdk deploy what it will do is it will start creating the resources whatever is there in the cdk template you can see here it is publishing generating the resources and we can see some progress happening here also a temp stack temp stack is creating resources this time we have added SQS. So SQS should be one of the resource which it should be creating that should uh, come up pretty much soon. You can see it is creating temp queue. And you can see this is the temp SQS queue, right? So if you go to SQS and SQS, you will see this one SQS queue has been created. This is the one temp stack. I mean, no, I mean, this is AWS managed service, SQS, which can be triggered through the Lambda or through the SNS. It can have an event brace, DLQ, monitoring, all those stuffs. But what we are doing is through simply uh, AWS CDK, we are able to create AWS resources. That's the, the major demo part, right? I'm not going to use SQS, so I will just get rid of this resource which has been created. I will just do CDK destroy. and it will delete this particular resource which we have created. So this is just a simple demo, okay? How we are getting bootstrapped, how we are getting started. This is what I was going to talk about in this video is, uh, I mean, if you are a Windows user, install AWS CLI, AWS CDK is actually NPM module, bootstrap your account by getting account ID. And before that you need to set up your 
AWS credentials, configure the programmatic access using access key and secret key, which you can download for your IAM user because I created one IAM user and I have their its access key and a secret key. This secret key is security credentials. I won't reveal you everything. This is the access key and secret key I already have. I have configured that. I will just delete the access key and secret key which I'm using right now to confirm deletion access key ID. First I can deactivate and then I can delete because while demo all these things get exposed to the outside world so we need to be sure that we are deleting things okay so this is pretty much so we understood how this CDK really works and CDK is sitting with our code which are which is able to uh, now what we are going to do we are going to put this these commands CDK deploy commands in our pipeline that should be able to create our Lambda API Gateway DynamoDB through the through the simple command CDK deploy and on AWS we should be able to see the resource created so that is the advantage of using this CDK stuff with our code it's infrastructure as a code right 